What's up YouTube? Welcome to the very first PWE episode here on this channel. PWE, that's Plastic Wrestling Emotion. Plastic, of course, for action figures, wrestling for WWE and the upcoming AEW action figures. And uh, if I have to explain emotion to you, you are probably wrong here. But anyway, it's our passion to collect. It's our passion for the action figures. It's our passion for wrestling. I've been a collector during my entire childhood and youth. Later, that's often the story, later I stopped collecting and I sold everything when I got older. So uh, one collector in Germany is a pretty happy dude right now. I am not. Um, my job started, I married and it's the usual uh, story. So today, together, we start to collect again. We start a new collection from scratch. This first episode is called in the beginning, PWE Plastic Wrestling Emotions starts now. It's plastic time! So welcome again to this very first episode of PWE and before you accuse me of cheating, this is indeed the very first episode of PWE. I know there's already a raw main event ring and I've got some figures lying already unpacked here, but I can explain it. This ring was really, really, really cheap. I got it on Facebook. Um, it is not complete as you can see here and there. Got it on Facebook in a Facebook group called um, Wrestling Figures Deutschland. Um, I'm a member there and this was cheap as dirt so I had to get it. Um, I didn't want to make any unboxing or um, any construction video because as I mentioned it's not complete and there will be another ring in the future anyway because once AEW toys hit the stores I'm gonna buy a real scale, authentic scale AEW ring. Also, there's some figures lying on the table here, namely Sergeant Slaughter, uh, Flashback Series, and Bob Orton, and The Million Dollar Man, and Ravishing Regroot. This channel is about elite figures, so uh, those basics are nice to have, and in, in case of uh, The Million Dollar Man, I was always a huge fan of Ted DiBiase, but we don't care so much about those basic figures. I only got them for this little dude here, Howard Finkel. Um, it's his only figure in the line. The only chance to get Howard Finkel is to build a figure from those uh, flashback figures and as a semi-retired ring announcer myself for NEW in Germany and many other uh, companies, I had to get this Howard Finkel. Um, but I didn't want to make any uh, stupid unboxing or whatever about it. This is our first episode and I thought for the very first episode what better way to celebrate uh, than with the man who started it all, uh, at least how we know it today, and that's of course Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Anyway, before we start please don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell. It makes Vince McMahon really, really, really happy. And me too, I really would appreciate it if you would support PWE, if you would support the channel. Thank you very much. So, I just said it, what better way to start our collection than with the man who started it all as we know it today. Yeah, I know he bought it from his father, but there would be no WWE as we know it today, no world wrestling entertainment with this guy without Vince McMahon Jr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Um, I know there is a, some might say better Vince McMahon figure but that was a mail away from uh, or Toys R Us exclusive and it's pretty hard to get here in Germany. I will try my best in the future but until then we have to live with Elite Series 70 of Vince McMahon as a commentator 80 style. So let's take a look at the package first. We have Vince McMahon, of course, and then this lovely little picture of the man and his wig. Um, during the 80s and I think the 90s there was actually a lot of talk and there were a lot of rumors if this here is his real hair or if it is a wig. 
I'm not really satisfied with this picture because it doesn't really show the horror of the 80s. Uh, I think this is a picture photoshopped from uh, the Attitude Era rather than uh, original picture from the 80s, but anyway, you get the picture. On the back side we have Vince McMahon also in the ring. He never was in the ring in the 80s. Uh, he was a commentator, nobody knew that he was the man. Uh, so probably also a Photoshop picture from uh, the Attitude Era. Anyway, um, nice picture. Here we have the other guys from the line, Finn Balor, uh, Seth Rollins, Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling, EC3 and Dolph Ziggler. So let's open it. Oh, by the way, here we see Mr. McMahon, which is technically, uh, it's a mistake because the figure inside is Vince McMahon, the commentator. Mr. McMahon was invented during the Attitude Era later on. So let's open this and I learned if you want to be on YouTube, you have to have a knife to open the packages. So. We have extra hands, microphone, Vince McMahon and a podium and more about that in a few seconds. Let's first get everything out of the bubble. Of course, I forgot to mention one thing, mint on card collectors or mint in box or however you call yourself collectors, you have to be really, really strong or ignore this channel completely because uh, we want to touch the figures, maybe even play a little bit with them when the wife is not watching or not at home at all. And um, we, and this is my first Matt Cardona quote ever, let them breathe. So here, Vince McMahon out of the box. Nice figure, let's talk about the accessories first. We have the WWF at that time. Microphone, of course, uh, after the whole get the F out campaign, there is no F on this microphone. We have two open hands because the figure itself has the microphone hands. And we have this podium, which is a pretty cool thing, in my opinion, because it shows that the developers at Mattel think out of the box, I like it. Um, it's this interview podium that they had in the 80s. If you remember close to the entrance in the arena where the wrestlers would come in, there was always some kind of podium for Mean Gene or Vince McMahon to interview other wrestlers. Many, many, many um, famous angles took place there. Like uh, think about Ultimate Warrior and um, what's his name? Uh, Papa Shangu, of course, yeah, uh, stuff like that. Or oh, Undertaker and uh, Jake Roberts and other stuff. Oh, everything took place there. The podiums were, of course, larger than this. There was room for five to eight people and uh, many, many fights started there. So I really have fond memories of those podiums and I like it that they gave it as an extra to the Vince McMahon figure. The figure itself is uh, quite nice. I like the blue of the jacket it's really nostalgic this old WWE blue or WWF blue uh, I like the head scan the hair seems a little bit off could be darker and could be more fluffy on the top as I said earlier uh, his his 80s hairdo was really uh, horror um, nothing too fancy about the rest of the figure um, but I'm really happy about it because, um, first of all, it's a Vince McMahon figure and we don't have too many of them. And uh, as I said before, I really like this uh, podium here. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this Vince McMahon figure, um, if you prefer other figures or what kind of Vince McMahon figure you would like to have. Um, for me, this one is the, the best possible uh, way to start our collection. Um, like I said, I like the overall look, the, the material is cool, um, I'm perfectly fine with this plastic for a um, jacket. It's stiff enough and not, not loosey-loosey, we've seen that before, that if you shake the figures then uh, uh, the legs shake everywhere they want to go. I like the face scan, although it's not really, really super looking like uh, Vince McMahon during the 80s. So um, I'm happy because the figure is solid and a nice touch uh, with the old plateau. I really like it. So tell me in the comments what you think about uh, the figure. Tell me in the comments what you like about PWE and this episode. And we see each other again, hopefully very, very soon. 
Please don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell. This is it for episode number one. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.